Enable and empower your students to create their own mobile apps. This is another Flipped Classroom Tutorials. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you a wonderful platform that will allow your students to create their very own mobile apps on both Android and iOS. Now, if your students have an idea, then that idea can now be turned into a mobile app with little to no coding required. Now, the application we're using is called Thunkable. It is completely free to use and you can get started today. Simply go to thunkable.com. Now, I will leave a link to this website in the description below. So make sure you check out that description and click on sign up. Now it says, welcome to Thunkable. I want to create apps for iOS or Android. Now, seeing as I am an Android user, I'm going to select Android and I'm going to sign in with my Google account. Now give it access. And again, these are the same steps your students would complete. And we are now in our main view. Now in order to create a new app, this is very simple. You go to the top and you click on create a new app. Now the app name will be Hello World as I will be creating a simple Hello World demonstration app for you to learn about this platform. So go ahead and open up this app. There we go. Now you can see this is a very easy to use interface. I have my screen, which will demo what this application will look like on my Android device. I have all these different elements for the user interface that I can add. Now you can see we have a button, labels, list pickers, many, many, many different elements. I have a layout, media items, media elements, drawing and animation elements, and again, many more. Now for my first app, we're going to keep it simple. I'm going to add a label to the top. So I'm simply going to drag and drop this in. There we go. This is my label. Now at the side, you will see that I can now change the properties of my label. Now I'm going to give my label a yellow background. There we go. I'm also going to use a, a larger font size. So I'm going to go with about 30. I am going to use a different typeface. So I'm going to use the Roboto regular. I'm going to scroll down. Now the text will say, click on the button below. And there we go. We now have our first label. Now I'm going to align this center. And I'm going to make my font size a bit smaller as 30 was obviously too big. I can switch back to my screen settings or my label settings. I'm going to go to the screen. I'm going to give the screen a background color as well. I'm going to go with a light gray color. There we go. So we now have a gray screen, a yellow label. And for the sake of this demonstration, I am going to add a button. There we go. I'm going to again go into the properties of this button and I'm going to set the text to click me. There we go. If you have used a program like Scratch before, then you will be very familiar with the way we are going to code this application. Now I have a label and the label's title is label one. I have a button, which is a button one. Now when I scroll up, you will see that I have a designer and the blocks view. Now I can go into the blocks view and this is going to allow me to code my app. Now again, this is a very basic application. Now this is very similar to the way Scratch works. So obviously I want my button to have an impact. So I'm going to click on the button one. Now, when button one is clicked, I am going to change the label one. So I'm going to set label one Going to scroll down, set label one's text to, and I'm going to select the text block. There we go. And I am going to change this text to hello world. And that's all there is to it. So now whenever someone presses button one, it is going to set label one to text. Now we can test this app by simply going to the test functionality and we're going to go to Thunkable Live. Now what this does is it shows us a QR code. Now if you have an Android device with you, all you have to do is scan this QR code in your Thunkable app 
and it will immediately show you what the app looks like live on your device. So let's jump over onto my Android device. Now the first thing we'll do is we'll open up the Thunkable app and we're going to click on scan QR code. Now as soon as we scan this QR code you will see that Thunkable is now going to pull up the application that I have just created on my computer. Now let's test this, click on the button below going to click on that and you can see the text is changed into hello world. This is a very powerful and simple way for your students and you to create your very own applications. Now back to the computer. Now let's say that you are ready to publish this application and this is an application that you are very happy with and you're going to publish it to the Play Store. Well very simple. Go to export and then you can get the save.apk, go to export and get the APK file that you can then submit to the Google Play Store for approval. Now you can also share this file with any other Android users that already have their devices and if they have installed from unknown sources turned on, they can install this application as well. And as you can see, once the application has been built, an APK file is sent to me and I can share this with anyone I want. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification for more videos. And I can't wait to hear what you have created using Thunkable.